Yoga is very effective in preventing and curing diseases as proven by many researches. But one must consult doctor before practicing yoga and practice under supervision of a yoga teacher. Along with yoga, healthy eating habits and certain food items also help in preventing and curing diseases. Yoga for Thyroid with helpful tips towards the end of this video. Asanas, Ustrasan, Bhujangasan, Suptvajrasan, Dhanurasan, Simhasan, Halasan and Konasan. Pranayam, Bahya and Kapalbhati. Ustrasan Keeping the knees shoulder width apart, lift the body up so that body is balanced on portion of legs from knees to toes touching the ground. Arc your body backwards and hold ankles of both the legs with the respective hands. Ustrasan strengthens legs, shoulders, spinal cord and abdominal area, alleviates shoulder and back pain, strengthens thighs, knees, ankles and waist. Bhujangasan Lie down on your stomach keeping the legs and feet together. Place both the hands shoulder width apart on either side of your chest. Lift portion of body above na navel, balancing it on hands and turn your head upwards. Bhujangasan reduces fat and trims waist, strengthens abdomen muscles and improves digestive system. Cures arthritis, backache, bronchitis, constipation, diabetes, insomnia and menstrual disorder. Imparts beauty to face. Supta Vajrasan Bend your legs at knees and sit on your feet with toes touching and heels supporting the hips. Placing the elbows on the floor, move your trunk backwards and place your head on the floor. And lift your trunk so that entire body is balanced on feet and head. Now place hands on the thighs with palms resting on thigh. Supta Vajrasan addresses all problems related to neck, strengthens back, legs, knees, thighs and reduces any pain there, helps in reducing fat, reduces the bad odor of sweat and cures gastric problems. Dhanurasan Lie down on the stomach, keeping feet a little apart, holding your left ankle with left hand and right ankle with right hand. Pull legs and chest upwards, balancing the body on navel area. Move your head towards legs and look upwards. Hands should be straight. Dhanurasan alleviates shoulder and back pain, improves digestive system and alleviates constipation problems. It strengthens legs, arms, spinal cord and abdominal area. Cures addiction, arthritis, asthma, back pain, depression and menstrual disorder. People suffering from hernia should not practice Dhanurasan. Simhasan Keeping the toes together and heels raised, sit on your heels with knees wide apart and entire body balanced on your heels. Placing both the hands on the knees, press chin against the chest. Setting your gaze at the spot between eyebrows, open your mouth wide and extend the tongue out. Sitting in this posture, roll loudly a couple of times. Simhasana cures diseases of mouth, teeth, tongue, jaws and throat. It makes one fearless like a lion. It's useful for people with bad breath. It is also one of the anti-aging asanas which reduces wrinkles on face and restores facial muscles and tissues. It cures bronchitis, constipation, digestive problems, depression, pyria skin diseases and tonsillitis. Halasan 
Lie on your back, keeping the legs straight and hands straight at the sides with palms facing floor. Without bending the legs, lift your legs and move beyond the head till the toes touch the floor. Move hands and hold the toes of both the legs with both the hands. Stay in this position, breathing normally for a comfortable duration. Halasan makes the spinal cord flexible, helps in reducing belly and removing gas from the stomach, improves blood circulation of the body, strengthens neck and shoulders, improves eyesight, cures menstrual disorder and obesity. Konasan Stand erect, keeping your feet more than shoulder width apart. Stretch your arms sideways at shoulder level, parallel to floor. Turn torso to the right, moving the right hand downwards to the right leg with right palm touching the leg. Straighten your left hand over the head parallel to floor with palms facing the floor. Repeat the same for other side. Konasan reduces back pain, makes body lighter and imparts beauty to face, removes cough and strengthen lungs, helps in increasing height, also cures backache and tonsillitis. People suffering from sciatica pain and pain around lower part of spinal column should not practice. They can practice after these diseases are cured through medication or practice of other yoga asanas. Bhaiya Pranayam is performed by exhaling completely and then maintaining post-exhale state with three contraction. Contract your throat muscles by bringing your chin down. This is called Jalandar Band. Contract your abdomen muscles by pulling your abdomen muscles inside. This is called Uddiyan Band. And contract your bottom muscles which is called Muladhar Band. This is how it is performed. Exhale fully through nostrils, keeping the mouth closed. Bhai Pranayam removes diseases related to lungs and improves digestive system, cures bronchitis, constipation, digestive problems and piles. Kapalbhati Pranayam is performed by normal inhale and longer exhale and when you exhale contract your abdomen muscle so that you can extend the duration of exhale. This is how it is performed. Inhale and exhale both through nostrils, keeping the mouth closed. Kapal Bhati Pranayam clears phlegm and removes impurities in respiratory system, removes diseases related to lungs and improves digestive system, cures bronchitis, constipation, depression, diabetes, gastric problems and paideia. Helpful Tips Add 1 teaspoon of coconut oil to a glass of milk and have it with breakfast. Eat lot of walnuts and carrots.